Buju, and welcome to the live stream, live comedy show. <laughs> I'm not sure how to start this. My name is Michael Lyons, and I am the creator of an online YouTube. I don't know. I'm used to just calling myself the rock star cartoonist. Uh, I'm the creator of a show called Buju Nana Buju. And it's a YouTube show. It's a puppet podcast that um, teaches children how to speak. Oh, children. It teaches middle-aged people how to speak Ojibwe language. Uh, we always have an Ojibwe word of the or phrase of the day. And uh, I have two characters called Nana Buju and Natasha, who are the main hosts of our podcast. And, um, but I thought I'd come by today and uh, give you a taste of what our show is like. If you would like to follow along online, our show is going to be live streamed at the same time because uh, as part of the show, uh, Nana Buju and Natasha will be teaching Ojibwe words and phrases. And if you'd like to see how they're spelled, uh, we'll be putting it online like today's, um, oh, well, first of all, so if you go to YouTube, you can look up our Facebook page and it's on, it's called Buju Nana Buju. Buju Nana Buju, right? And when you get there, just click live stream. Buju Nana Buju. And when you get there, you'll see this. And let's say Nana Buju is talking about the Ojibwe word phrase of today is going to be uh, heaven. The land of everlasting happiness. Gagage Minawana Gozi Ge Winning. The land or everlasting joy. In Ojibwe, uh, our word for heaven isn't the happy hunting grounds. <laughs> I know every Indian movie you've ever seen um, shows an Indian at some point smoking a peace pipe and he's like, Oh, the warriors, when they die, they go to the happy hunting grounds. But in Ojibwe, and Nana Buju is going to talk about the traditional teachings. The word for where you go after you leave this world is known as the land of everlasting joy or Gagage Minawana Gozike winning, land of everlasting joy. And we'll just leave it up there for while he's talking about it. And uh, if he throws in other words, like today is Monday, Ishkwa Anama A Gija Gud, after prayer day. And so part of our whole uh, comedy bit will be teaching the language and uh, telling stories. And then Nanabuja and Natasha are also just really fun to watch uh, interact. So anyway, that's the nature of our show. Uh, it's totally okay if you want to pull out your cell phones and watch us. My name is Michael Lyons. And uh, you know what? I'm, uh, I'll, I'll save my introduction of who I am for, for later. Yeah. All right. So up next, Nanabushu. All right, so this is kind of a um, live stream uh, working out the live show we're going to be doing. Uh, I hope that made sense. I'm going to be sending a clip of this to a nursing home down the street. And because I met with them and told them what I did. And they kind of understood, I think, 
but part of me thinks that they think it's going to be um, like a Jeff Dunham type show. <laughs> All right. Um, do I need that other one? Maybe not. And let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of that. How about a little of this? Bonjour! Bonjour, Kakina Awiya! Hello, everybody! My name is Natasha. And uh, yeah, I host the Buju Nana Buju podcast with my my Niwini Mushane with my sweetheart Nana Buju. And wanted to come by to say Buju, that's hello in Ojibwe. Although I've always had a weird suspicion that we stole that word from, uh, you know, the French. Um, <laughs> Because when you hear a French person say bonjour, their word for hello, it really does kind of sound like bonjour. But anyway, to tell you a little bit about um, myself. I was born very young. <laughs> no. um, let's see. I grew up in Laporte, Minnesota. It's a really little town right on the edge of the Leech Lake Indian Reservation in northern Minnesota. And when I grew up, both of my grandparents went to boarding school. Indian boarding school. That's where, you, you maybe you don't know, if you ever wonder why, sometimes we go to schools and ask the kids, you ever wonder why we're not speaking Ojibwe? I mean, the Mexican kids come, they, they, they speak English and they speak Spanish. Uh, you know, other kids from other countries, you know, they, they speak both languages. How come we don't speak Ojibwe? Well, if you were, if you had my grandparents, which a lot of you, I mean, <laughs> not many of you had my grandparents, but a lot of us modern Anishinaabe were the descendants of the boarding school Native Americans, the boarding school, whatever you want to call us, Indians. I'm never offended by Indians, by the way. That's one thing I do love about Indians. You can't insult an Indian by um, being politically incorrect. Because, I mean, we're not really Indians. What's the story? Columbus came over and he was all like, Hey, we made it around the world. We're in India. Look at these Indians. Hi, guys. My name is Christopher Columbus. What's it like being an Indian? And the Anishinaabe at the time were like, no, we're not Indians. We're Native Americans or whatever, Wapanoags. And Columbus was like, ah, get out of here. You're Indians. And so we were like, okay, I guess we're Indians, fella. Tell everybody from now on, never mind what the name of your tribe is. Never mind what your language calls human beings. We're going to call ourselves Indians. I don't want to embarrass Christopher Columbus. That's what they expect us to believe, by the way. That's actually the historical stupid story about how the word Indian came. Anyway, kind of went off on a tangent there. So we teach Ojibwe language and culture. Um, and uh, I'm the descendant of two boarding school Indians who, oh, so yeah, the historic history <laughs> is that our ancestors, when they went to boarding school, they weren't allowed to speak their language at all. They could be really punished for speaking their language and like old style punish, not go into your safe space and, you know, identify as something. No, in the old days, they'd, They'd lock you in a little closet overnight. They'd smack your knuckles with a ruler. I mean, it was brutal. Um, so a lot of our grandparents 
they were taught never to speak Ojibwe. And so I grew up not knowing my language. Um, I knew my grandparents pretty well. And so on our show, I tell stories a lot about my grandma and grandpa. But as we do the show, I people learn about our lives. And I tell everything I know about my grandparents. But even though they were close physically, they, they didn't talk a lot about their experiences as kids. They just called it the good old days, you know? Um, and the reality is I don't really know. There's more I don't know about my grandparents than I do now that I think back on it all. But luckily I do know enough that we could tell some pretty funny stories. My grandma had this expression, she'd always say, oh, honestly, honest to Pete. You know, she was a good boarding school girl and she became a good Christian woman. She would never swear, but she'd just say, oh, honestly. Um, and I remember I'd always be telling her crazy stuff. Hey, grandma, did you know? Where were you in 1947 when the aliens crash landed in Roswell? And she never wanted to talk. She was, oh, honestly, she had no interest in that. But she, you know, or she'd say honest to Pete. And I'm always like, who is this Pete person you're talking about? Is this like a biblical character or something? Honest to Peter? What is that? What was his name? Simon? Simon the Rock? Um, but also on our show, sometimes people will call up. In fact, I'm having a premonition. Bring, 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 bring. <laughs> I knew it. Somebody was going to call. Please excuse me. I got to take this. Bring, bring. Bonjour. Hello, Natasha speaking. Ah. Uh. Ah, ah, Natasha, it is I, the Count, Count Von Count, ah, ah, Count Von Count from Sesame Street? That is correct. I am watching your show, and I am learning how to speak in Ojibwe, ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's great. I'm so proud of you. Can I, can I hear you count to ten in Ojibwe? I can count to ten in Ojibwe. Beijing, Nij, this way, the win, ah, 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 <laughs> yeah, Nanin, Nin Gold was way, Nij was way, Nish was way, Jungus way, Midas way, ah, ah, counting to ten in Ochib way. <laughs> well, Count, I can't believe you learned so much just from watching our show. Ah, yes. I have learned to count by watching the Buju Nata Buju podcast. I can also count to ten in Spanish. Where'd you learn how to do that? On Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. Listen, I gotta do something here. I can't stay on the phone. Can I call you back later? Ah, yes. But I will see you again. Gigawaba Min. Mina wa. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, Gigawaba Min. Mina wa count. <laughs> the Count, you guys. So we get characters like the Count calls into our show. But we also get characters from heaven, believe it or not. The Queen's called in before. And uh, the Queen of England, you know, she passed away. But she's still in heaven and she watches our show. She might call in when Nana Buju's up here. But, and uh, so anyway, my grandparents... And when I got, grew up, it became really important to me to learn more about my history and my language and some of that stuff that my grandparents weren't allowed to, well, they weren't allowed to learn themselves because they had to go to boarding school. But then they were also kind of taught not to encourage their grandchildren to to learn the stuff they forgot. 
So our show is kind of about that. We're the latest generation of Indians trying to figure ourselves out. Anywho, you think that's enough for now? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. All right, you guys, you want to meet Nana Buju? Up next, the star of the show. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Nana Buju, but Mikwetch Gubbiz and Dowie Egg. Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Gigawabamin Minawa. Now, look at this. Before I go, I will see you again. You can go to your YouTube page and our word for I will see you again, our phrase for I will see you again, Gigawabamin Minawa. Hawa. <laughs> and. See you later. <laughs> All right. So up next will be uh, Nana Buju. I sometimes call these things uh, act breaks. Like the first act would have been the introduction, or the introduction was me, and then the first act was Natasha. And when I write the shows, they're totally improv. Um, but they're not completely <laughs> improv. What am I trying to say? Um, I always know what the word's going to be because I have to prepare the word and have the text ready. But, uh, um, on the live stream, people call in or write in. And so sometimes that'll steer the conversation a certain way. And sometimes, like, there was a period there where, like, when the uh, pandemic first started, we got a lot of comedy out of just talking about stuff that was going on with the live stream viewers. Okay, hey, Buju! And welcome back to the show. Nana Buju Nindija Nakaz. My name is Nana Buju. And uh, this here is Michael Lyons. Hi, everyone. And uh, yeah, so let me let me tell let me tell them a little bit about about you. Oh, go ahead. So Michael Lyons, we call him the rock star cartoonist because our whole show kind of came about. Michael Lyons was drawing um, cartoons for well. For Facebook, I guess. Michael Lyons grew up drawing comic strips and that kind of stuff. And his big dream was to either be a comic strip artist or a cartoonist of some sort uh, or a rock star. And he worked really hard. I'm really proud of you, by the way. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for your failed cartooning career. You, I know. But... Uh, so after many years of, of drawing comic strips, comic books, coloring books, this kind of stuff, he finally wrote an, an Ojibwe language children's book. And uh, that book was called Dog and Ma'inkan. And it, it helped kids count to 10. Hey, you know, coincidentally enough, in Ojibwe. But uh, what else did it do? Um... Oh, and animal names and stuff like that. Then he started adding, uh, started making single Ojibwe language word of the day comic strips that he would put on Facebook. And people were really encouraging. People really liked learning Ojibwe. But they would write in, hey, how do you pronounce this word? And some of our words are really long. Like the word for blueberry pie in Ojibwe is... Minabushka the Minasagani Batusi Jagani Bakwajigan. See like there's no way to write how to pronounce that. So we get on the air and turned on the old laptop camera and we were like, hey, here's a song how to pronounce blueberry pie. Minabushki Minasagani Batusi Jigani Bakwajigan Minabushki Minasagani Batusi Jigani Bakwajigan Yeah yeah 
Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and talented Natasha. Yeah, uh, we we gotta not let's not forget to interact during the show. It would probably be better if after I leave, I leave kind of stage right. This way? <laughs> yeah. Cause then you can refer to me that way. Yeah, that that'll look better and be less awkward. I won't be looking over Michael's head. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, but we started writing songs so you could we could learn the Ojibwe words and then you know let's start talking about stuff and pretty soon, you know, Michael was a Ojibwe language teacher for three years. Yep. Until he got the boot. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um so now we got like our little Ojibwe language class, but it's also like a early morning radio program. There's a lot of joking around, talking about the weather, talking about celebrity news, talking about dead celebrities. Oh, which brings up on my uh, word of the day. I even talk. It's getting long, Michael. Yeah, what do you want me to do about it? I don't know. I thought we were going to do like a 10 minute spot. Yeah. Oh, well. So. Our Ojibwe phrase of the day. Gaga gay minawana gozi gay winning. The land of everlasting happiness. You can go to your YouTube if you're on your cell phone right now. And you can see how that word is spelled. Anywho. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, land of everlasting happiness. Oh, yeah. Here's my bit about the land of everlasting happiness. You ever see these old movies they talk about? You'll see an Indian and he'll talk about the happy hunting grounds. Oh, yeah, when a warrior finally falls, when he reaches the end of the trail, the Gabe Kona, and he starts his journey. He goes to the happy hunting grounds. <laughs> and you're like, what? The happy hunting grounds goes, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, you die and you wake up and you're in heaven. And you stand in line and there's a guy up there and he's like, okay, what'd you, who, what's your name? You go, Nana Buju. Well, let, me, let me check in the book. Yep. Welcome to heaven, Nana Buju. Here's your gun, unlimited ammo. Uh, there's deer all over the place. You can't miss. This is heaven. And, uh, you know, be happy. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. You go, what? How is this happy? How is this ever, you know, you spend a life not cheating on your wife, not blowing your money at the casino. You know, you're a good person. You raise your kids right. And your eternal reward, not only do they not serve you food when you get there, you got to go hunt for your own food. And then what is this? Is it heaven for the deer or is this like hell for the deer? And what those deer do to end up in the happy hunting grounds? Were these the evil deer? How's there, how's there a bad deer? Were these the reindeer that teased Rudolph? <laughs> I mean, I've heard of bad dogs. You know, there's Cujo, Hitler's dog. Those German shepherds that, uh, you know, went, went after the black guys during the civil rights movement. They're probably in hell. But, you know, what the, what the deer do to deserve to end up in a place like the happy hunting grounds? So in the Ojibwe cultural tradition, we, that's not the story. That's what Hollywood wants you to believe. <laughs> I'm a conspiracy theorist, theorist too. That's what Hollywood wants you to believe. But the reality is, when you start your journey, and when you complete that journey, we always call it starting our journey. When somebody passes away, we never say, oh, they died. They're in heaven now. Now we know there's a certain journey they take. Nobody knows how long it takes. Maybe it isn't. I suspect time doesn't work the same in Gagage, Menawana, Gozi, Gay Winning. But in it, in the Ojibwe, Anishinaabe cultural, you know, traditional teachings, our belief is that when you pass away, um, 
you go to a place called the land of everlasting happiness. You know, it's no more tears. It's like Johnson and Johnson baby shampoo. You no crying. Otherwise, it's not that specific. You, yeah, they. I think we also believe that we'll see our grandparents again. Uh, loved ones who aren't. I don't know. I never heard of a hell in Indian culture. I mean, maybe a, a res bar on a closing time on a Saturday night. Maybe, maybe that's, you know, <laughs> maybe bingo night at the Palace Casino. <laughs> but otherwise, I, you know, Minowana Gozi, gay winning. Gaga gay, Minowana Gozi, gay winning. This is the place of everlasting joy. And this has been the Ojibwe word and phrase, actually, of the day. My name is Nana Bushu. This over here is the lovely and talented Natasha Bushu. This over here is the rock star cartoonist, Michael Lyons. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. I will see you again. Giga Waba Min. Oh, honey, that's really good coffee. That's really good. Makade mashkiki wabu. No. Well, it's, I got the, um, that's that caramel stuff. Oh, very nice. Don't go away. I'm begging you to stay. Cause I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss your love. love. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm going to miss your love. <laughs> the minute you, you walk, walk out, out that, that door. door. But I got to go to work, honey. No, <laughs> I'm going to miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, hey. Won't you consider becoming a patron? Patron? That's not, no, that's not right. Like, um, patron. Yeah. I can't even say it. <laughs> Please become a patron saint and support Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. uh, you'll get a, a cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can oh. put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckade bush kiki wabu. Muckade bush kiki. See, you're already learning Ojibwe. <laughs> Buju crew members get $25 a month and we'll send you a... Uh, Makade Mashkiki Wabu cup, <laughs> a coffee cup <laughs> with our pictures on it. And, uh, or just check out our Patreon page. You don't have to sign up. You can see some of these Lydia, some of these videos. This one's backstage of the show. There's Michael and Nana Bushu. My mouth wide open. This one's called, How's the Historical Trauma Today? <laughs> okay, let's just <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get my coffee. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good morning. Mino Giga Jabe. Today is Ojibwe phrase of the day. Mino Giga Jabe. Let's see. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> A rock star cartoonist. Well, I think you get the picture. Um, yeah. Come on over to our Patreon page. I don't know what else to say. Miigwechka, Bizendawiyag. Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minowa. Howa.